Hi, I'm Suffer Jerome and I'm coming to you from Toronto, Ontario. I just wanted to tell you a little bit about Patreon or what I'm hoping to do with Patreon. Um, I've been on it for a couple of years now and, and I've adjusted it a few times uh, as I get more used to the platform and as Patreon grows and they add more things to the platform that we're able to do. Uh, I originally started my Patreon um, as a fundraiser for me to do ghost hunting and then uh, to finance some trips to the Lizzie Borden house, Alcatraz, San Francisco and places like that so that I could finish writing a ghost hunting book. Um, I have been to all these places many times and I wanted to do a little more research with more focused uh, interviews, photos, films, and so on uh, to complete the project. However, I didn't get enough funding for that project, so it never happened. So then I switched my Patreon account over to write a space opera romance adventure novel called Soran, and that's what I've been doing for the last eight months. I've been giving my patrons uh, one chapter a month uh, for the last eight months, so now the story is eight chapters long. And so in order to continue growing this book, uh, now I'm going to change what I'm doing again and uh, you know you can see on my platform that people have come and gone. I don't actually know how much the public can actually see on my platform. I've had patrons that have come and gone. Uh, some are still there, some have left and uh, you know what? You come and go as you please. You know you can come hang out for a month and you can leave. You can come and hang out for a year and leave. I you know I'm grateful for every minute you come and hang out because every time I see someone on my platform it gets me motivated to work. Now, um, what's happening now is how I'm revamping my platform yet again, is that now, like I said, I'm really excited. I'm, I've got my book halfway, it's about halfway written now, uh, in a very rough draft form. So now I have, I'm going to go back and start revising because all the people that were there for the chapter a month are no longer uh, on there, so I don't feel obligated to do the chapter a month thing anymore. So I'm going to go back and uh, rework the chapters I've written. Um, if you do come into the behind the wall you'll see I have lots of notes. I have a lot of world building to do still in my science fiction book so that's what I'm going to focus on over the next while. And in the meantime I also have two other books that I'm working on. Uh, one is called Taurus, uh, A Hearse of a Different Color and this is one of my Witch Upon a Star books that I'm writing for uh, Riverdale Avenue books and uh, this is a fresh original book that'll go along with the rest of the Witch Upon a Star books. The other Witch Upon a Star books uh, were previously written a few years ago under different titles and they've been re-released by Riverdale Avenue books and now the case with all these books is you don't have to read them in order and you don't have to read them all. Uh, each book is a standalone book but they all use uh, characters from all the other books. So anyways, I will be working on Witch Upon a Star Behind the Wall as well and sharing with you my notes and um, everything that's happening as I write it. And then the third book I'm also working on that I will be sharing notes and chapters and so on with, and you'll get to see it written as I write it, is um, another book called Home Office Magic. And uh, some of you may have read my book Love Magic, The Good Witch's Guide to Bringing Grace to Your Space. And uh, I've also, oh, no, sorry. It was House Magic, The Good Witch's Guide to Bringing Grace to Your Space. And then Love Magic, The Good Witch's Guide to Healing Your Heart. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Ah, I remember the titles of my own books. Now, um, House Magic was written and published back in 2001 by Canary Books. Uh, I wrote it under my witch name, Ariana. Well, my tarot reading name. I'm not really sure it's my witch name, but it is my tarot reading name. One of the names I use to read tarot, Mistress Ariana. Um, so I am now working on a home office magic book as well. So you'll get to see all the notes and so on behind the wall of all three of these books. So this is part of uh, what your Patreon donation will get you. As well, I do do free horoscopes every week on YouTube, so you're free to see those. Uh, anyone can click on my YouTube channel and watch the horoscopes for free. And as part of what I do for my patrons is uh, I will put the link 
uh, for the free horoscopes behind the wall so that you get it right away you don't have to go searching on YouTube and uh, I'm also going to be putting other things behind the wall as I do um, I'm gonna uh, patreon is still talking about uh, allowing us to post multiple multiple pictures in posts um, and I'm looking forward to that because once that happens I'm gonna post a lot more ghost hunting pictures uh, pictures from 10 years of ghost hunting um, I have a tiny bit of video that's interesting. I've posted some of uh, the interesting video that we gathered at Lizzie Borden House this past summer. I've already posted it on my Patreon that uh, patrons who pledge $10 or more can see uh, some of that. And I will put more up as time allows. I got really, really busy between uh, August and uh, like early November because I had a lot of uh, um, uh, conventions and I'm the Ontario chapter head of the Horror Writers Association so I had a lot of things I had to do uh, you know I did Fan Expo I presented uh, six presentations at Fan Expo and panels I helped with programming I ran two booths and so on so it's uh, you know a lot of work so I really cut into what I was able to give my patrons uh, during those months but now it's November um, my original goal was to have my book done by November ish However, because of all these other things that have been happening, I haven't been able to get the space opera done as quickly as possible. So that's why now I'm not going to do the chapter a month anymore. I'm just going to get this thing written. So um, you'll see over the next while that I will be revising my notes and so on and, and making the story stronger and better. And uh, I, I was doing the novel writing thing there for a while that, you know, November's novel writing month, but I'm not going to do that anymore because I fell off track as most of us did last, with last week's election and I don't see the possibilities of catching up but like I said and you'll see for yourself when you get behind the wall and read all my hundreds of blog posts which you'll get access to um, that uh, the book I was working on for the novel writing month is the Witch Upon a Star book so you'll see it anyways and uh, so I'm going to keep plugging away on these things. So anyways, I invite you to come join me on these adventures. It's really, really motivating for me to know I have to answer to people when I make these promises that, yes, I'm writing these books. And, uh, you know, you can join for as little as a dollar a month and you can quit at any time. I won't be mad. Ask the people who have already quit. I never got mad at them. It's like, yeah, I know. You don't have to help me out forever. But, um, you know, and Patreon is talking about uh, giving, um, uh, working a way to give certificates or ways for people to see um, what's behind the wall for free for a limited time but we don't have those yet so I believe that how you have to do it now because I myself am not quite sure how it all works uh, that you do pay your one dollar um, and then you can see all the things that I've been doing and you'll you can probably tell that I have like uh, probably close to 200 posts already a lot of those um, you know but that includes the novels ghost hunting pictures horoscopes and so on and uh, you know feel free to ask me questions behind the wall um, feel free to ask me anything talk about anything I really really want to be interactive with uh, the people who are helping me okay so I really really would love to see you at my patreon why do I need it well I don't get advances for books anymore times are tough uh, I am a full-time editor. I have a couple of jobs at the college, but everything is very sporadic and very sparse. And it's been a real struggle the last few years. I lost a lot of money uh, with some not good decisions uh, romantically. And uh, so I've sort of am struggling right now. And that's why I really appreciate everyone who helps me, even a dollar. Dollar buys me a cup of coffee. <laughs> so come buy me a cup of coffee. I would love that. And uh, really, I uh, am so appreciative with anyone who um, comes and hangs out with me. And as I think of things um, to give for prizes and stuff, I'll let you know, I'm still not really sure what people want from me. However, if you do pledge $10 or more a month uh, for a minimum of four months, then you will get your name in the acknowledgments of uh, my Space Opera book or my Witch Upon a Star book or the uh, Home Office book or all three, depending on you know, where you are in the donation process and where I am in uh, getting these books published. Okay, so thank you so much for supporting me on Patreon and we'll see you soon. Bye for now.